know about how much money people get paid to be on a show like a thousand pound best friends i was curious about this because i wanted to determine would it be worth it would i struggle on national tv through one of my biggest insecurities for the amount of money i could get What I found for a show like A Thousand Pound Best Friends, not specific to this show, but just in general, each person might earn between $1,500 to $3,000 an episode. So there were eight episodes in season one of A Thousand Pound Best Friends. That means they might earn between $12,000 and $24,000. Honestly, $24,000 sounds really good. That sounds really good. But I think in this instance, I'm a little like Robin from Sister Wives. Like we can film in my backyard. We can film on my front porch. I'm not maybe totally ready though <laughs> to open up my house and let everyone into every one of my deepest, darkest secrets. Personally, I'm not there. I am glad that these four women are there. Them be vulnerable on TV reminds me that like nobody is perfect and everybody's got stuff to work through watch season one that's okay because I'm going to share with you some of the most like important moments where they really showed us their vulnerability and just really had some good lessons and then you're going to be caught up and ready for season two which is going to air on January 4th. One of the most important lessons that I got from season one was through Ashley. A lot of times success involves failing and then being willing to try again. Definitely relate to Megan's um, issues and how I felt with the first surgery. I lost roughly about 60, 65 pounds and then kind of plateaued. And then I eventually gained all of that back plus some. Oh. Ashley is one of the best friends that had bariatric surgery before the show started. And so she's had time to like lose weight and then gain it all back. And then the show started. It's just amazing though, throughout this whole process, how positive she has been and how willing she's been to look forward to something better. The next message that comes across a lot in this show is that you deserve forgiveness. Now I wanna know how can I take the pain, the nasty that's in here. How can I take that away to where it won't affect me? Because all I want to do when this happens, I want to bust a bag of chips, a bowl of ice cream. I want it now to be gone. Wondering if what you're needing is forgiveness from yourself. God, I don't know. Vanessa is one of the best friends who in this scene is talking with the therapist about some decisions she's made in her past that she doesn't feel good about. The show, we learned that Vanessa had a really hard life. Like ever since childhood, she had a lot of, uh, a lot of struggles in her life. It's amazing at all of the bad things that happened to Vanessa throughout her life. The hardest person to forgive seems to be herself. I don't think Vanessa is alone in that. I think a lot of us struggle with being forgiving and compassionate with ourselves. And so it's just like, it's, I like watching Vanessa work through this because I think it's something that so many of us can relate to. Now through best friend Tina, we are reminded that sometimes the best thing we can do is ask for help. Last time I saw Dr. Proctor, he gave me a goal to lose 10 pounds. It's important for me to meet this goal because I want to prove to myself and everyone else that I can do this on my own. When I weighed in with Dr. Proctor, I was at 297 and my goal was to lose 10 pounds. What's that? It's frustrating. Yeah, you've lost the Most of season one, Tina has been the one of the four best friends who has said she's not doing the surgery. She can figure this out on her own. And she tries her best. She, she does seem to try her best, but it's just like the information is in her head, but there's something along the way. It's not getting all the way to her heart. It's just not working. She knows how to do it, but it's not happening. And on her own, I think she could have gone totally left and just not met any of her goals. But luckily, she's in a position to ask for help. And that's how the, uh, the season ends for her is that we find out she can get the surgery if she wants to. 
And I think in season two, we might see that happen. I don't know. The last of the four best friends is Megan. And watching Megan is, um, it's interesting. She seems very happy outwardly. She's dynamic and charismatic, but when she is quieter and more introspective, it's clear she was really low self-esteem. And it's just, that's a big question. How do you continue to love yourself when you disappoint yourself? Talking to someone or was food kind of how you comforted yourself? I how I comforted myself. In my nine year marriage, I chose to probably eat my problems away because I was ashamed of what was happening to me. I probably gained almost 300 pounds. Throughout season one, Megan seems to be trying to answer this question in some way or another. And she doesn't always come up with a good answer. And even by the end of season one, I don't think she totally got it yet. How can she love herself even when she's disappointing herself? And that's a big question. I think so many of us get lost in that question. And so it's a little encouraging. It's encouraging to see her work through this. And I'm hopeful in season two, she's a little further along in the journey. And maybe we'll get ideas about how she's making this work. Now, in my opinion, you are caught up on season one and you're ready for season two. Uh, season two of A Thousand Pound Best Friends is going to air on January 4th at 10 p.m. Eastern time on TLC. That's too late for me. I'm definitely gonna be, I might not be asleep, but I'm not watching TV then. So um, probably I'm gonna watch it January 5th and then we can talk about it later in the week. Um, that's gonna be fun. So either watch it or just check in here and we'll talk about it and see what these best friends are up to, see what lessons they're teaching us or demonstrating to us. Um, and in the meantime though, leave a comment. Let me know, did you watch the show? Are you interested in this show? <laughs> Do any of these uh, lessons or messages relate to anything going on with you? I'll say all of them relate to me in some way or another. So, <laughs> so there's a lot to look forward to in our conversations. All right. In the meantime, though, take care. Bye.